After five films spanning 35 years, you'd think Terminator 6 would be a pretty predictable addition to the franchise, but it's actually shaping up to be an awesome return to form. Before we get into everything we know so far about the film, do me a favor, head on down and hit that subscribe button or our robot overlords might take it personally. <laughs> Who is at the helm? James Cameron himself is returning to the Terminator franchise. This is huge, people. It'll be the first installment he's worked on since Terminator 2 Judgment Day. Although he's producing, he will not be directing the film as he did with the first two. That quite massive responsibility will be in the hands of Deadpool director Tim Miller. Who's in it? Let's talk about the film's cast, because Linda freaking Hamilton is back to take on the robot apocalypse, and she somehow looks more badass than ever. Terminator 2 marked a transformation for her character, Sarah Connor, from the typical damsel in distress to the badass action icon we all know her for now. James Cameron felt she needed to come back and reached out to her himself saying this, look, we could rest on our laurels. It's ours to lose in a sense. We created this thing several decades ago, but here's what can be really cool. You can come back and show everybody how it's done. Because in my mind, it hasn't been done a whole lot since the way she did it back in 91. There are certainly plenty of 50, 60, 70 something guys out there that just keep cranking along doing action movies and killing bad guys left and right. But there isn't an example of that for women. And I think there should be. Joining Hamilton is one of those 70-somethings cranking away at action movies with Arnold Schwarzenegger's return as the T-800. However, we may also see him in action as an actual human character. Bonkers, I know. If you were ever curious about where the look of the T-800 came from, so is James Cameron, telling the Arnold fans back in 2017, there has to have been a guy whose DNA was harvested from, that they grew the organic outer layer that they grew the Terminator from, and that presumably was a real person at some point. I've asked myself these questions, but it's never been resolved, so stay tuned. Oh, Jim, you know I love a good stay tuned tease. All right, moving on. Some newcomers include Mackenzie Davis as Grace and Natalia Reyes as Danny Ramos. We don't know anything official about these two other than the fact that they seem ready to kick some serious ass alongside our girl Linda, but there is some speculation that Natalia Reyes may go on to anchor the franchise in future installments. We expect Mackenzie Davis's character to be some kind of soldier or assassin, and possibly from the future, because you know, Terminator, but this all remains to be seen. Speaking of Terminators, as per tradition, we have a new Terminator to look forward to. Marvel's Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D.'s Gabriel Luna has been cast as a new Terminator model, but we don't know if he'll be the melty type or the metal type, a swarm of nanobots or something totally new. Either way, I'm excited to see what they have up their sleeve. Will we see John Connor? The only major character we haven't mentioned is John Connor. There was a photo released on Bloody Disgusting which suggests we may see a young CGI version of John Connor, but it doesn't sound like the original actor Edward Furlong will be making a return. What's the title? So what the hell should we be calling this thing? James Cameron recently revealed the title to be Terminator Dark Fate, adding, at least that's our working title right now, so this feels somewhat official, but may change by the time the film is released. For now, we can rest assured that they're shooting for an ominous tone. What is it about? Paramount hasn't published an official synopsis for Terminator 6, but we have learned quite a lot about the film's overall direction from Cameron himself. Thanks, bro. He says, with the return of Linda Hamilton, we will see how time and tragedy has affected her over the years, and Terminator 6 will show her passing the torch onto a new set of characters. If you were wondering how the film will handle her absence from the other three films in the franchise, they are simply just going to ignore that. Cameron told The Hollywood Reporter this, We're pretending the other films were a bad dream or an alternate timeline, which is permissible in our multiverse. What is it rated? There hasn't been an official rating from the MPAA at this point, but according to Deadline, the film will most likely be rated R. This makes sense given its direct link to the first two R-rated films and the fact that they hired Tim Miller, who has dabbled in some raunchier content. You're about to be killed by a Zamboni! When is its release? I know, I know. Right now you're screaming, Jeff, you've already sold me. Shut up and tell me when I can place this film firmly into my eyes. And to that, I'm happy to report we do have an official, oh yeah, you heard that right, official release date of November 1st, 2019. This freaking year, people. There you have it. Everything we know so far about Terminator 6, aka Terminator Dark Fate. So what has you jazzed and what has you skeptical? Hit the comments and let us know where you have your expectations placed for this film. And while you're there, be sure to hit like and subscribe to keep up to date on all the latest in entertainment.